Alright everyone, today I'm going to prepare duck legs and I'm going to bake everything together except for red cabbage with potatoes which have seen better days, um, shallots, two types of onions and some lovely rainbow chantenay carrots. I'm going to make it as simple as possible it's just going to be a one dish meal, so very little um, cleaning. What I've done already is that I have put salt on the duck legs and I've done this about six hours ago and I just let it um, sit out on room temperature. Um, for the best result just leave it overnight in the fridge. Also I've used the salt that I bought in Malta which is called ginger mix salt but it's actually salt and chili so what I'm going to start with I'm going to put the duck legs in the oven first and then I can do the prep a bit later so I just buy time for myself very simple as I said these are already prepped up this is how you buy it in the store and just arrange them, it's already seasoned, not much to worry about, that's it. Uh, put some water on here and then cover it in the oven, that's the start. This is an extremely simple dish, you don't really need a video about it, but what I've noticed, especially within my family, not everybody is um, confident enough to cook duck, they are afraid of it for some reason. Um, so that's why I have decided to um, make a very simple and short video about how I make it. And there is absolutely nothing difficult about it, it's one of the easiest meals you can ever do. Yeah, so you got your duck legs, I'm just going to add some water to this to start the process. Most of went on my soap. Lovely. All right. So I've used a glass of water. I'm going to add baking paper, and I do so because I don't want the aluminium foil to stick to the meat. The oven is set to 200 degrees Celsius. In the oven it goes. It is quarter to five. Um, so I'm going to bake it like this for an hour. In the meanwhile I'm going to prep all these vegetables up and then see you in a couple of seconds but for me it's an hour all right guys so it's been almost an hour not quite let's check on the legs Beautiful. So the legs look beautiful. They are not cooked yet. They are about halfway through. Uh, and as you can see, I've got quite a lot of liquid left because I've made sure that the foil was um, sealed. So what I'm gonna do quickly, I'll just remove the legs, add the legs back, and then I'm going to continue with the baking the potatoes I'm going to turn into veggies and of course I can taste the gravy base 
this is salty it doesn't need any more salt which is excellent I can always put more salt at the end of the process so I'm doing similar size potato wedges Lovely. I'm just going to add some black pepper. Oh, it doesn't sound like there is much in here. Oh, I've got more peppers. That's good. I'll fill this up later. This is actually mixed, so I've got more than one pepper. Oh yeah, I actually might use palm sugar. So, I'm adding some pepper. I'm going to add just one bay leaf. Um, shallots. Onions. And as you can see, I'm chopping everything into just rustic pieces everything is about the same size I'm using different onions for different colors and flavor all right this goes all back then I have garlic as well garlic goes in and I've got the selection of carrots which I'll just add in as they are uh, the only thing I've done I've just peeled them that's about it again um, should I I'll add a tiny bit of salt just a tiny bit because the duck has released the salt already and that liquid on the bottom is quite salty okay I'll put the legs back see very easy very little to do okay this is done now at this point I'm going to put the legs back as they are so I'm not covering anything I'm going to reduce the heat to about 180 degrees Celsius and don't forget about the cabbage now this cabbage has been sitting in my fridge for a while so I'm going to get rid of that layer and the top layer and I'm going to do very little with this cabbage as you can see All I do is just to slice it. That's it. I already have this baking parchment with the aluminium foil so this goes in here just like so I'm going to add a small amount of palm sugar if I can open this yeah not much just a tiny bit You could add honey as well, 
but I'm using palm sugar, I quite like the flavor. And I'm going to add some duck fat to this. One spoon and some salt. Not too much. And that's it. Okay, let's add some chili as well. Easy. All I do is I already have this laid out, so I'm just going to close it. That's it. It doesn't get any easier than this. In the oven it goes. Now we are quarter to six. I'm going to leave this in for another half an hour and then we see the result. Super easy. Right guys, now it is... Was it half an hour? No, it wasn't half an hour yet. It's about 20 minutes. Let's check on the duck and everything else. Nice! Let's baste the duck. Mm -mm -mm. I like these um, kind of very simple dishes that you have not too much work with it. Very convenient, not too expensive, filling. Yeah, this is perfect. By the time I'm finished, most of this liquid is going to um, disappear. Potatoes are still hard. Lovely. Yep. Flavors are coming together. You could add um, thyme, rosemary to this, which I don't think I have any of those. I might have some thyme. Yes, I just found some thyme in the fridge. I'm going to add the thyme as well. And this goes back for another 20 minutes at least. That's it. Okay, guys, another 10 15 minutes have passed. I'm going to check on the red cabbage because I think the red cabbage is going to be ready fairly soon come on and let's baste the duck again but again this is very little engagement and very little work for a awesome meal and as you can see the liquid is disappearing which is awesome mm -mm -mm. duck is getting a nice color amazing this goes back let's check on the cabbage Actually, it's not quite done yet. It's quite hard. Oh, but it's tasty. Mm -mm -mm. Just going to seal the foil again. This can go back for another 
10-15 minutes and then we are done super easy we love it all right it's been hour and a half we are nearly there Let's see how this looks and it looks awesome also the cabbage is ready I'm pretty sure yeah cabbage is done the skin is getting very crispy awesome stuff guys the potato, potato is done Mm -mm -mm. How nice! I think from now on the meat is pretty much cooked. Let's see. No, oh, actually, it could use a bit more. So I leave the meat in for a bit longer. Maybe another 10-15 minutes. And then just finish off the vegetables. But the skin is getting very crispy. And we are almost there. Alright guys, it's been almost two hours. So let's check on the meat and I think the meat is done looks awesome so I just remove the meat and let it rest put everything else back just to finish up but everything is cooked already and looks awesome this goes back not a few minutes All right, guys. All right, guys. This looks beautiful. Potatoes, carrots, onions, everything is cooked. Super easy. The cabbage is cooked. It's time to plate up. So. Let's just grab a bit of everything, potatoes, onions, carrots, a bit of red onions, a bit of red cabbage. Nice. Duck. A bit of the sauce. Wow. All right, guys. So this is my duck leg dish for you is super easy as you could see there is hardly any work to do um, obviously it's time consuming so this took me two hours to do but as but you can see there is hardly any work to do 
and this is a delicious dinner for you so guys i hope you enjoyed the video and see you on the next one